very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is the last speaking it was a really great week last week and we are again receiving these amazing and very happy messages from the clients of the premium group i'm more than happy to see the messages again and we have helped a lot of members more than 400 members actually almost 500 members to achieve their goals and make some decent money this guy is saying here that he have made over hundred dollars in the last two days and he's still uh, running in profit that is fantastic nice to hear that uh, this uh, gentleman here also think the signals are amazing it's a matter of knowing how to use them according to the individual trading style uh, that is what he's talking about is the proper money management of how to use the signals uh, this guy also he's saying that he's surprised that our channel has only 490 subscribers and he thinks we, need, we deserve more and I'm more than thankful that he's thinking like that and uh, it's really a big honor to hear this kind of message it was so nice of him uh, this guy also he's uh, Thanos for the week no I hope he doesn't mean Thanos from the Avengers he means thank you for the week thanks not Thanos so thank you too you are welcome my friend uh, this guy here is also saying that he has made over th 7,000 euros in one week and he was doing a lot of uh, trades using big lots so uh, the signals are again doing really well very nice uh, well done Angela and I'm more than happy to the uh, clients on the premium group if you wish to join the premium, pr the premium group my friends please don't hesitate to contact Angela today you can find her contact details on telegram in the description below this video Contact her, to the, uh, contact her today and hopefully we will see you this next week and we can see that there is a lot of good opportunities in the market waiting for us. Hope to see you there and wish everyone the best of luck. So let's go now to the weekly analysis and let's start as usual with the Euro USD, which has reversed exactly at the level I mentioned 1.10876. So this resistance level is actually quite, uh, quite strong. The resistance zone right here it's actually quite strong and we can see the price falling down and the sellers are, act are actually now controlling the market so now what is the next move in my opinion uh, we can expect for the euro usd to actually make a small bounce right on the support level actually maybe actually it might be right now we can expect for the euro usd to make a small bounce at the sorry to make a small bounce at the moment uh, and then actually I think by Monday or Tuesday maximum we can expect for the reversal to happen and for the euro USD to actually continue falling more down all the way until it hit this support right here because in my opinion if we look at the weekly chart looking at the weekly chart we can see that the market right now is approaching a strong support level uh, let me show it to you we are having a support level right here and also right here and it was also a strong support level right here and here and here and here and so we can see there's so many attempts of the of the support on this level which is pending for over four years and now after finally four years the market is again visiting the very same level I don't believe there will be a breakout immediately from this point therefore we can expect for the euro USD to actually continue falling all the way until it hit the support level before it actually start bouncing a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance right here so again this is a weekly chart we're talking about so going to the daily what do we see on daily candle actually you know something let's go even to the four hour chart so now let's analyze it on the four hour chart and decide our entries so from my point of view I'm looking at this support level right here and let me just show you this support level was very strong right here and it has been also followed by uh, this bearish breakout candle and on the left we can see that we had also a strong support uh, resistance level on the uh, uh, previous resistance right here so my expectation that the EURUSD is actually reversing right now because we can see here that we had on the four hour chart a support attempt number one and we can expect for the market right now to reverse on a support attempt number two it will bounce a little bit hit this previous support level and then gonna continue falling more down uh, I don't think the EURUSD will bounce on this support 
uh, we can see that we have uh, uh, many attempts one two three four and now the euro USD actually might continue falling down like that to create the fifth attempt might actually break it and it perhaps will, per will reverse let me just throw it it will reverse on the very same level of this support right here so we can expect for the euro USD after falling to this previous support that it will actually bounce up I don't think this is going to happen this week sorry this one I don't think this bounce is going to happen this week so this week uh, uh, it might happen actually after two weeks so this coming week we can look for this setup of start selling the euro USD right on this uh, previous resistance on the level 1.10416 keep the position uh, of, th of the sell order until the level of 1.09261 let me just uh, write them for you my friends so again euro USD should be good to sell on the level 10 oh sorry 1.10416 second all right so and we can keep that red running all the way until this level take profit on the level 1.10196 hopefully the euro USD will uh, move as per these predictions and we are going to make a good profit out of the euro USD let's now go to the pound USD now for the pound USD the pound USD actually has made a reversal exactly as predicted uh, and the last week I mentioned on Saturday that I'm expecting for a breakout from this resistance however I said that we don't rush to buy immediately because we need to see the price action happening on this resistance then in the midweek analysis I mentioned that the, euro, the pound USD has made the reversal and we can start selling it instead of buying and thankfully uh, that video was very successful and very important because the market indeed has went down so now what is the next move well I need to tell you something that we can expect for the pound USD to actually continue its ranging mode for quite some time but not for so long now remember the pound USD has reversed from this resistance after having triple top so that's a, tri a triple top here meaning the market is a mid is uh, by nature of course it will move down but the question is where should I start selling the, Euro the pound USD so let's go to the four hour chart let's decide our entry point on the euro and that's sorry why I keep saying euro man on the pound USD uh, from my point of view that the pound USD is going to reverse by Monday opening on this support level and we can see if we look at the price action this is interesting price action it's indicating that the market is actually reversing it's having a bullish reversal and by Monday morning I believe for the candles to continue going more up and it's gonna hit this previous support as uh, resistance sorry this is actually the best level to start sell for the pound USD unless if we heard any unexpected news about brexit or whatever but if the market was uh, uh, calm and there was no unexpected news happening this is the best level to start selling the pound USD and we can start shorting let me tell you until when so it will fall actually it will fall really hard uh, I'm expecting it uh, to make a really strong fall because the bearish momentum is gonna be really strong and after selling on this previous resistance here sorry after selling at this previous support which was also a resistance right here we can start sell and keep the position all the way until this previous support on the level 1.25570 uh, it should be it should be really easy signal for the pound USD so let me just write it for you we can start sell pound USD on the level 1.2880 yeah all right oh okay like that and we can keep the thread running all the way until hitting the take profit on the level 1.2570 again hope uh, the pound USD will actually move as per this prediction and we are going to make some good profit out of the pound USD let's move now to the AUD USD now interesting the AUD USD 
also has moved exactly as per my prediction and reversed exactly on the very same level it didn't move and pip up uh, ahead uh, above this level that's really make me so proud of my analysis to be honest sorry anyway let's see what is the next move uh, let's go to the daily candles on daily candles we can see that AUD USD has now hit this previous support level which was also a strong support uh, resistance not only here but also here it was really strong resistance pending for at least two weeks more than that actually we are talking about month here month here anyway this level is very strong I don't think the breakout is gonna happen especially seeing this uh, doji it's indicating usually that the market is now going to reverse and it's gonna go up let me see this on the four hour chart I want to see the price action so looking at this price action here on the four hour chart there is not a single candle indicating a strong bullish reversal maybe this one but we can see that the following candles are actually indicating more of bullish uh, movement is showing that the sellers are actually controlling the market because if we want to read the candles this one here usually indicating that the market should actually start reversing and uh, make a bullish reversal however it's not necessarily gonna happen it doesn't mean that the market will be forced to reverse we need also to be somehow logic about our analysis so seeing this a candle here followed by this candle here then we can see the full bar full red candle full red bar indicating that the sellers are actually the one who is controlling the market we can see it also right here so again this is for our chart so we can see uh, it took the market three candles to move up all the way to this level and we can see this uh, pin bar appeared here and then the sellers controlled the market pushed this candle to close as a pin bar and immediately the following candle was a full bear, a full bearish candle full red bar that's indicating a strong bearish reversal however what is the next move after all of that um, we cannot really expect for the AUDSD to move uh, up uh, for so long I'm expecting it to make a small reversal right on this uh, resistance right here here we can see a strong resistance level so we can expect a small bounce on this level which is actually happened right here already happened and then the market is actually going to continue falling more, more down again this is daily candles this is daily candles let's go to the four hour chart and we can see that the market indeed already reversed on this resistance level right here now the problem that the market is facing a strong level of a support but it's actually on a very strong bearish reversal or the sellers controlling the market therefore uh, my expectation for the next move is for the AUD USD to make a bouncing on this level going a little bit more up hitting this resistance attempt one, uh, resistance level one more time and then it's gonna continue falling more down so yeah we made the analysis really taking so much of your time let me just make it shorter now uh, AUD USD should be good to start sell on the level 0 0.68087 that should be the best level to start selling the AUD USD um, let me tell you something we can sell the AUD USD on this level but however we might expect for the AUD USD to go a little bit more up hitting this resistance uh, to make one final uh, second attempt before it actually continue falling more down all in all AUD USD is falling down in my opinion and it's gonna happen either on this support uh, resistance level or maximum in my opinion on this resistance eventually gonna fall down all the way until it hit this previous support level uh, we are talking about just like 20 pips uh, risking uh, our entry point however uh, this is gonna should be a good signal for the AUD USD I don't think it's gonna move uh, higher than these two resistance levels so let's hope for the best and expect for the AUD USD to move as per our prediction let's now move to the USD CAD so USD CAD I believe it has moved also um, 
okay, I believe I made the prediction that AUD USD, uh, the USD CAD is gonna fall down to this uh, previous support level before it actually gonna continue going up. However, uh, USD CAD immediately started going up here, made a small bounce on this previous resistance, and then head up again. Now, what is the catch? Let's see. What is the next move from the USD CAD? Um, if I'm just looking at the lift actually, let me just uh, go to the daily candles. All right, so on daily candles, we can see that we had really strong resistance level right here. And it was also a strong support in the past. However, after this strong bearish momentum, it was really strong bearish momentum. Uh, we can see now the, the USD CAD is now making uh, another attempt of this resistance. So this resistance here is gonna keep its position as a resistance. And frankly speaking, USD CAD is in amazing level to start sell immediately Monday opening. The opening hour, really. That is the exactly same level if I want to sell USD CAD, that is the level where I want to sell because here we can see guys, this long week here, look at that long week here. That's really strong resistance level right here which was also, of course, a strong support. And right here, we can see the resistance attempt, which is gonna keep its position as a resistance right after this bearish breakout candle. Not only that, going back to the daily candles, we can see my favorite price section of a bearish reversal. So most likely now, as I mentioned, this resistance is gonna keep its position as a, as a resistance. And we can see this price action of this candle indicating that the market right now is falling down. So, uh, great level to start sell the USD CAD, to be honest, sell now. That is the short term of uh, the level 1.33002. Sell it right now. And let's see, we can keep our position. Um, let's see. Where is the next uh, really strong support level? It is right here. So USD CAD can be, what is this? USD CAD can be uh, sold, can be short on this level at the sell now, which is immediately, what's? All right, and we can keep it running for almost, almost 100 pips to hit this previous support right level. Uh, right here at this level of the support and then we can exit our trade hopefully with a decent profit and really wish uh, the USD CAD is gonna uh, move as per this prediction. Let's go now to the USD GPY. So the USD GPY has been raging for the whole week. It didn't move at all therefore I really cannot uh, talk a lot about it. I still say the USD GPY is falling down. The same signal of the last week, nothing has been changed. Uh, it just reversed here, at, as I mentioned. Uh, I, I said last week that the USD GPY is gonna keep its position as a resistance, and here, right here, it's gonna reverse. We can start selling the USD GPY at this level. However, the market just continued ranging and went in a consolidation mode for the whole week. Therefore, we can st we can keep our position of sell for the USD GPY. Let me just be accurate. Um, I think it's gonna it's gonna be safe to start selling the USD GPY at the Monday opening and you keep your position all the way until it hit this previous support right here. So USD GPY signal is just the same. Nothing has been changed because the market was ranging. Let's go to the USD CHF. I think USD CHF. I expected for the USD CHF to reverse on this resistance level. It did indeed reverse. However, I mentioned that we can keep our uh, trade running all the way until it had this previous support. However, USD CHF indeed reversed on this resistance, but it reversed also uh, on the support level right here, making this very strong bullish momentum. Um, I believe this was on Friday. We can see Friday. To be honest with you, I don't recall what happened on Friday. There was a lot of news coming, especially for the Euro. And I think it has affected the USD CHF. Guys, I really, really hate, hate, hate to give analysis for the USD CHF. It's so, just so ranging at this level. It's just this kind of market is ugh, it's ugly. 
it's just confusing a lot and it's really hard to give the right prediction however if i have to give any prediction for the usdchf i have to say it is gonna be sell I don't think the USDCHF is going to break out from this point of the resistance, especially knowing that this movement here on Friday, it was based on some news. So I think the USDCHF right now is going to make some corrections on the level and it's going to continue its bearish momentum. So again, USDCHF should be good actually to sell immediately. So USDCHF again, sell now because it is on the highest level of the resistance. I don't believe it's going to go higher than this level. And the reason is I'm depending on this. When you see a resistance consists of one single long week like that, that is the best uh, level to analyze your uh, strongest resistance zones right here on the very top of this uh, week here. That is what I'm seeing on the week here on this candle and that's why I'm still relying on this level that the USDCHF should actually continue moving down and to be safe let's keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level so we can look for almost 127 uh, pips of profit and really hope uh, the USDCHF will follow this prediction and we're going to make some good and decent profit out of it let's check now the gold now gold, um, I gave a signal last week that the gold can be start to, can be short on the level of 100, uh, 1,490. But then again, in the midweek predictions or midweek uh, analysis, I mentioned that we have to change the signal and make it on this previous support. It was actually kind of late. However, those who have entered the signal immediately as per my advice could have made about 120 pips of profit on selling gold now what is the next move gold right now is on a very strong support level right here so uh, this is again daily candles let's go to the four hour chart so now by seeing daily candles i know that the gold is on a support level now it's a matter about where should i start buying the gold uh, seeing the support level right here we can expect for the gold uh, to fall down a little bit more until it hit this previous support level which was also a strong support here by the way and then we can start buying the gold for short time I believe gold is actually gonna fly or reverse from this level of the support heading all the way up here to hit this previous resistance and then it's gonna continue falling down until it hit this support right here so let me just uh, give you a small tip here uh, we are going to give two signals for the gold the first one is buy on the level one point uh, sorry 1459 we can start scalping the gold then keep your trade running all the way until this level of the resistance let's make it safe right here exactly like here so when the, once the market, hopefully, if the signal will be followed uh, correctly, once the candles reach the level um, 1,472, we can start selling the gold because, as I said, uh, the gold is right now on a support level. So by Monday opening, I'm expecting it for, to fall down a little bit, hitting this previous support. Then it will make a, this bounce until it hit this previous resistance, and then is gonna continue falling uh, all the way down until the support level so that was my prediction for this coming week i really hope it will be very good and profitable week for everyone and in the end i hope that was informative to you my friends and i wish you what was the term all right so in the end uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would really like to thank you for watching